For the last almost two years as Dean Research, I have been basically participating in such workshops and seminars and conferences where main theme has been to sort of educate our progeny youngsters, students and scholars that we are not living in the age when we had to visit for even minor experimentation to labs or departments outside GNK. Uh, as we discussed with the madam in the beginning, almost all the departments, especially in the School of Biological Sciences, have wonderful infrastructure and equipment and upliftment of the labs has been done to a level where we can provide all the technical facilities. Now, in similar ways, whatever equipment we are purchasing, whatever equipment we are being trying to use, and what sort of methods we have to use to run those, needs to educate right from the grassroots level to begin with students followed by scholars because once we teach subjects where experimentation is the backbone of understanding different themes we must be able to take the students and scholars to those labs and those uh, these uh, to educate them about the equipments we have how to handle it now in such cases university of kashmir luckily has managed not only to install many wonderful equipment but also to educate the students and scholars how to use it and in that case obviously botany department is among the top of the departments of the university of kashmir including departments like uh, biotechnology cri chemistry department biochemistry department clinical biochemistry department where we have wonderful equipment only uh, drawback we have that we are not trying to spread the theme that scholars, especially scholars, can actually request the faculty members of the department of which they are a part or adjoining departments that they should be trained how to actually use or how to draft their research theme so that the equipment that is available they can run it. We have tried to during the last few workshop, we had a workshop in CRI about, uh, about 10 days ago and in that the same theme was tried to be educated uh, the, uh, in the scholars as well as in the students and sometimes in faculty members. I'll tell you myself, when I had to carry out uh, SEM studies, my teacher, God bless his soul, had to depute me to Lucknow and I had to actually carry out SEM studies there and I had to stay for almost 20 days with the material. Now imagine carry material from this place to Lucknow and then carry out studies and then get the material there. Now, we can do the same things here. Similarly, whatever chemical profiling, whatever uh, genetic studies we are trying to carry out, in that initially, the theme was to have collaboration with institutions which have such facilities. My first project was a collaborative project which had partners from JNU, Delhi University, and Jumu University. So I had to depute my scholars to visit those labs and understand. Now, luckily, in the University of Kashmir, we do have such facilities. And in such workshops, obviously, the theme is to educate scholars and students as to how they can understand the use of that equipment, how they can in turn be able to not only handle the equipment, but also use to draft their experimentation plan in a way in which that equipment, that facility can be used properly. There are three major say, say aspects of good research. You should have a very brilliant idea. I mean, you should have a good idea. <clears throat> you should, the research question that you are asking should be very great. Then you need to basically collect data in order to address that question, right? And you should be knowing the tools and techniques that are required to collect the kind of data to address that question. And then the third is its analysis. Once you collect data, then you need to analyze it appropriately in order to draw very robust conclusions. <clears throat> now this workshop, I mean every person would have its own say research question. This workshop is just that it addresses at least two of these three basically aspects. It addresses the, <clears throat> the how to collect basically data, how to perform this RN sequencing, which, which makes it very important. And the second important thing is that, which was very say, interesting for me because <clears throat> I was also, I got also interested in doing R at this age, but it is very interesting. 
uh, that that they would be say dot the data analysis using our platform. Right? This is a, is a very strong platform. Uh, we had as a dean, I had organized a small say workshop also for the research scholars, right, along with Dr. Yatisha. And many of the students are getting to learn this uh, say use of R in our university also, and then the quality of publications has improved significantly, particularly in our department because of this data analysis, right? And then those of you who know the kind of work that I do, uh, we can't do without, say, data, very high-end data analytical tools. Reason being that we deal with multi-dimensional data. We don't deal with, say, two-dimensional data, three-dimensional data, which can be very easily plotted. We deal, I mean, ecologists by training, we deal with ecological data, which is multi-dimensional, and as such, we are always required to use, say, tools and techniques which handle very large volumes of data in order to draw robust conclusions. Now, <clears throat> having said so, every institution, every institution has a research ecosystem. And every in a, the research ecosystem of each institution has its own requirements. Those could be very specific requirements. And if you ask me, given my experience in this university, the hands-on training is something which is required in our ecosystem. It is not only required, say, for example, hands-on training, not only for our sake, but other, say, disciplines as well. Uh, it is something which is very essential for us. And then in that sense, it's a very important workshop for us. And then we need to take lead basically from such a workshop in, and then have workshops in, say, other areas also done. Uh, we live in a place where we do not have access to very high-end, say, say, instrumentation, people. Other, those who have got training, say, in world's premier institutions are here in this institution also. But over a long period of time, we were not having, say, sufficient knowledge of correcting the right kind of data. And then the research also suffered because of that. Then we had to actually learn it very hard way. And then the, we, we, we basically say a lot of our time went into say learning the, the collection of data. In this sense, the young boys and girls who are joining this workshop, they are getting basically upfront in their career. The, the training from those who have learned this art, and that way they will benefit through the entire career of their say, say their life, and then they would basically, I mean, they would immensely benefit from this workshop. We all love nature, and this is a beautiful place to love nature, and we are right in the midst of that, so how can we skip plant and not talk about it? So we will stick on to plant, the diversity the plant provides is way larger than the diversity that animals have provided. Although we do not know plants and understand plants, there, that's why there's a scope to learn more of plant. And you're right in the place where the diversity in the plant and the environmental conditions allows you to be closer and studying them. And this is a place that it should be. But how do we study it? What do we have in the present? Remember, we have to learn technologies of the time. And that's why this particular workshop is important. We are organizing this to take you through a process of understanding how do we study gene expression in bulk. That means you don't study one gene at a time. You study 20,000, 30,000 genes at a time. And you ask the question, if rice has a particular gene, do the other plants do have it? Or rice is unique in many, many ways. So you, you, we were just talking about it and I happened to learn that barley was grown and then now it's rice. This is our trend. We are losing what was there. And of course, we can say that that's due to the environmental change. But can we revert back? Can we go back to what was natural? Can we go back and revive the entire environment that we are all, we have climate meetings, we have big gathering, but an action is at a student level. I think students are the ones who have the power to change it all. Our times is almost gone, we are done with it. So you are there. You are there to, you are the flag bearers who will carry this idea of reverting back the climate to somewhat a better extent. I guess everybody has felt the climate change and knows the difference there. So how can we revert back? Can we learn 
from the plants what they need. All the time we have utilized plants. We have never asked plant what you need. So if you ask plants what they need, then you will have to go back and learn first what is there that the plants require. And in order to get that answer, it's not easy. It's a lot of learning to do. As a botanist, you might be knowing a lot more than what I know, but let us work together. In this three days, we learn from you and you learn from us what we know in terms of how to understand genes and their expression across different conditions in the plant or a plant versus another plant, whatever the condition might be. This is what we are here for, and I would not take further time. I would like to thank the organizer one more time and all the dignitaries on the dais and rest who have come to attend the uh, just the inaugural function and maybe the talks later on and those who are going to participate in the workshop. I also would want uh, people to organize more of such workshops and the students will be our uh, voice who will go and demand more so that they can learn more. Thank you all. I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you as we, we gather for this RNA sequencing hands-on workshop. Your involvement and support inspire and motivate us to continue advancing the frontiers of research. In fact, your presence today is a testament to the collaborative spirit of the scientific community. We are here to embark on a journey into the fascinating world of RNA sequencing, a cutting-edge technology that has revolutionized the way we explore gene expression. This knowledge is critical for various applications, including genomics, personalized medicine, and disease research, bridging the gap between research and practical use. In essence, RNA sequencing workshops serve as a catalyst for scientific progress and innovation in the field of genomics and molecular biology. This workshop is designed to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of RNA-seq from its fundamental principles to practical applications. Throughout the workshop, our participants will not only gain a deep understanding of RNA sequencing, but will also engage in practical hands-on exercises, equipping them with valuable skills to advance their research in various domains. The journey will take them into the realm of bioinformatics tools, data visualization, and functional analysis, ensuring that they have a well-ground understanding of how to extract meaningful insights from the RNA seq data. Well, during the hands-on sessions, participants will gain practical ex experience in RNA-seq covering RNA extraction, library preparation, and data analysis using various tools and softwares. We will emphasize best practices for data quality, statistics, and result interpretations. Practical exercises using sample data sets will reinforce their skills and equip them to confidently use RNA-seq in their research endeavors. As we embark on this educational adventure, I encourage the participants to actively participate, ask questions, and engage in practical exercises. By the end of this workshop, our goal is to equip you with the expertise to plan, execute, and analyze RNA-seq experiments effectively in your own research. Lastly, I am hopeful that together we will make the most of this valuable opportunity to expand our knowledge and capabilities in the field of RNA-seq. Thank you for joining us and I wish you a productive and insightful journey throughout this workshop. The Department of Botany was established in 1961 and since then has been nurtured by the renowned botanists, scientists and naturalists. Today we are witnessing this department as a gigantic tree with its branches blooming into flowers of scholarship and disseminating fruits of excellence. Catering to the expectations and needs of the society, the department has now transformed into a mega entity, including important adjuncts such as an internationally recognized herbarium, the Center of Biodiversity and Taxonomy, and the Kashmir University Botanical Garden with its high altitude satellite garden at Gulmarg, 
besides a new PG department at North Campus Baramala. For last several years, the Department of Botany has remained among us most ideal choices in the University of Kashmir for students of Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir in view of its prone excellence in producing motivated and well-trained professional botanists who are capable of meeting the contemporary challenges. In almost all NAC assessment reports of the University, the Department of Botany leads in terms of research projects, research collaborations, quality publications, number of net qualified candidates, the award of special funding under DST FIST and UGC SAP programs to our department testify to the achievements of this department in teaching and research. Our department promotes creativity, originality and innovations among our students and scholars. We have a dedicated faculty who promote high quality teaching and research in cutting edge disciplines of regional, national and international importance. Our faculty has a remarkable footprint in research output as is reflected by our publications in high impact factor journals. The department provides a conducive environment to the teachers, students and scholars in achieving academic and research excellence. It has remained the yearning endeavor of the department to link our research activities to the regional development of the Himalayan state. Our department is making all out efforts to contribute in policy making and raise public awareness about contemporary <coughs> issues and challenges. In general, the Department of Botany is marching ahead in the right direction, providing holistic and quality education to the future generations and playing a positive role in nation building through overall personality development. The future vision of our department is to attain distinction in providing cutting-edge learning experience, intellectual freedom and critical research opportunities in order to become first choice of students and researchers. At the same time, our mission is to impart internationally benchmarked education to our students and conduct original and innovative research for sustainable management and utilization of our natural heritage in regional development. In recent years, the use of modern high-throughput tools of molecular biology has given a new dimension to our basic and applied research activities. The present workshop signifies a remarkable milestone in the research journey of the Department of Botany, a testament to our dedication and tireless efforts. The main aim of this workshop is to train the participants with the necessary skills of gene expression analysis using RNA sequencing technology. During this workshop, the participants will understand the fundamentals of RNA sequencing, the critical aspects of experimental design, sample preparation and library construction, data analysis using essential bioinformatics tools and software. The workshop will also allow participants to explore the biological significance of differentially expressed genes. The overall goal of this workshop will be to empower participants to efficiently plan, execute and analyze RNA sequencing experiments for their research projects, be it in the field of genomics, molecular biology or other biological disciplines. I am sure this workshop will provide a kind of special platform to the participants for celebration of knowledge, the exchange of ideas and opportunity to design their research ideas with a profound passion and commitment.